What's up YouTube? It's your boy Kari here, back again with another video for y'all. So today I'm going to be talking to y'all about a few of my favorite date ideas for dating a Colombian woman. That's right. I know a lot of you guys out there are dating Colombian women because I focus on Colombia and especially the dating scene. So I've had a lot of success doing certain activities that are a little bit outside of the box. So today I'm going to share with you guys some of those activities that you could do with your girl that will spice things up and help you sweep her off her feet. By the way, stick around to the end because I'm going to share with you a few of the things that you should not be doing when dating a Colombian woman. So stay tuned for that. I have too many items to really put in one video, so I'm going to just keep it short and sweet. And I assume most of you guys go out with your girl for dinner on some of your first dates, right? When you're first getting to know each other. So these things are specific items that you could do that really go past the restaurant and just going out for dinner phase when you really want to do something different and create excitement within the relationship. These items are more focused for the guys that are really dating Colombian women, seriously. All right, so let's get into the list. The first item on my list is going to be bowling. I know, right? It's kind of one of those things that's forgotten. But yeah, bowling out here in Colombia is very popular. They have tons of bowling alleys. In most of the big malls, they have a bowling alley. And the women actually love competing against men. You know, I found this out through bowling. Like every girl gets super into trying to beat me. So I found that it creates a very cool dynamic, having a little bit of competition. And the game of bowling is super simple. Who can't bowl? You know, a lot of the girls will act like they can. That's just an opportunity for you to teach them and help them a little bit get started. And then they'll try to beat you. <laughs> At least that's my experience. But uh, in Colombia, you could get in and out of the whole bowling experience for shoot, probably like 40 bucks or less, you know, in the States, you're talking a little bit more money than that. But out here in Colombia, you could do it for a pretty good price and not hurt the wallet so much. And like I said, they have bowling alleys all over the city. So even in other cities in Colombia, Cali, Bogota, Cartagena, you can always find a bowling alley. So think about doing that as a switch up. All right. So the next item on my list is going to be dancing, guys, dancing and clubbing. So Colombian women love to go dancing. A lot of them dance salsa and a lot of them dance reggaeton, and most of them dance both. But you could go to clubs that specialize in both. You could do club that specialize in one or the other. Either way, you're gonna have a good time because I've never had a Colombian woman not want to dance. It's crazy. It's their way of showing their sexiness. It's something that is just in their blood, right? Um, they were made to dance and they're very good at it. So, and it's a good way for you to learn something and take something from their culture and, you know, work on it and get better at it. So dancing, your girl could hopefully see you improve over time. Cause I know a lot of dudes don't know how to salsa coming from the States. It's like a foreign step. And I get that it was hard for me to learn, but over time you'll learn and going out with your girl is a great way to just experience the, the nightlife scene. She'll love it. You'll love it. It's a win-win and you can get in there out of that for a pretty good price. As long as you're not going to the upper echelon clubs and whatnot, but most of the regular clubs around Medellin where I live are pretty economical and you don't have to spend too much money. All right, so the next item on the list is going to be a little bit more extreme, a little bit more outdoorsy, all right, but hiking. So in Medellin, hiking is a popular activity. There's a lot of parks around the city where you can hike. And one in particular that sticks out to me is Thres Cruces, which is in the Berlin neighborhood of Medellin. That one's an easy one to do because you can do it within the city. You don't have to leave the city and it's a great workout. So this is something that the more athletic girls would like to do. You know, the ones that like to stay fit and healthy. This is something that you could do with that type of girl. And there's also more nature focused hikes around the city. Um, there's some in Envigado and there's some in Parque RV and even a few outside the city. So just do your research, find some cool hiking spots. There's plenty of information on the internet about hiking in Colombia, but it could be a great switch up to just create some excitement in the relationship for you and your Colombian girlfriend. All right, moving right along. The next item that I want to talk about is going to be four wheeling guys, ATVs. It 
it's a fun activity that they love doing out here in Colombia, especially over here in Medellin. There's tons of places that do ATVs and you could just rent a couple hours, right? And so I like doing ATVs just because it's a quick, you know, few hour thing that you could do. It's super cool. You might see some waterfalls, you might see some different animals, you know, but you're guaranteed to have a good time. And the women love doing that too, right? So the next item on the list is going to be horseback riding. That's right. Horseback riding is very popular in Colombia, guys. And you could always find, you know, a tour that'll do horseback riding. Pretty much in every major city, every place in Colombia has a tour like that. Even in Guatape or in Minca, you know, outside of Medellin, you can find that in a lot of places. So yeah, I did it in Minca. You can go back and look at the video, just search for Minca on my channel and you'll see some uh, shots, but we were like going down the side of this super steep hill. It was actually frightening <laughs> to, to ride on a horse in the rain on the side of a steep hill. It was crazy, bro, but had a good time, bonded with my girl and it'll be one of those things that we never forget. So hopefully if you do that activity, you'll have a similar experience. One of the other things that I like to do out here in Colombia that's kind of related is bird watching. So out here in Colombia, they have one of the most biodiverse sets of species, right? Of bird species uh, ever, I think ever. You know, y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Colombia has more bird species than any other place in the world. I've seen some of the coolest looking birds ever out here. Stuff that I didn't even know really existed. Just different color schemes. Like even in the city of Medellin, you'll see parrots flying around freely. That's not something I've ever seen in any city I lived in before. But here I see it like five pairs, rainbow ones just flying by your window. And then just imagine what you see when you go out into the jungle, you know? So you can take pictures, you can just look, you can get a guide that shows you like all the different species. That way you can know what you're looking at. It's just a fun activity. And of course, with your girl the whole time, you'll be talking, y'all be exchanging languages and experience and she'll definitely appreciate your love for nature and your appreciation for nature. And that's something y'all can share in common. Okay guys, let's get into the next item on the list. This item is specific to the people that live on the coast. So it's gonna sound simple, but what I noticed with the girls from the coast, they love just going to the beach. That is simple. You could just get some food, get some beers and just hang out on the beach with them, see the sunset. They love to just hang out on the beach you know, in the States, I'm not sure if it's as popular. I don't think so. But like here in Colombia, people just will just chill on the beach, watch the sunset. And I think it's more of a Latin American thing. Like people do it in the States, but here is just more of a popular thing to do. So I found that some of the girls that I've dated from the coast, you know, they'll be at the beach half of the week, like half of the days out the week, they'll hit the beach and just hang out with people. Cause for them, it's like a social event. It's like going to the promenade or something, you know, like going to the main square. That's where everybody is and everything. So if you date a girl on the coast, that's a great opportunity to hit up the beach. Okay, so the next item on the list is going to be beer and wine tasting and or festivals. So here in Medellin and surrounding areas, I've been to many like beer festivals and wine tasting type of events. And I found that those pair nicely with a beautiful woman and nice company. So yeah, that's a great recommendation. Y'all could try different beers and wines and things like that. Like we had Oktoberfest here maybe about a month ago, not even a month ago, less than a month ago. And I went with my girl, man, it was amazing. We had a great time. And she doesn't even like beer like that, but she tried a couple of them. And you know, I, I really like beer and they had all types of different beers. So you wanna stay up to date on all the events going on in or around the city that you're living in here in Columbia, right? Because they have a lot of stuff going on. You might not know about it, that's the thing. You have to follow the right people on Instagram or subscribe to the right groups on Facebook and get to know Kari HQ, hit me up for a consultation and I'll help you out with that. But anyway, you wanna be in the know. All right, in Colombia, it's all about what you know. So yeah, guys, I got a much longer list that I can share with you guys, but I wanna keep this video kind of short. And yeah, I wanna give y'all a couple things that you should not do with your girl um, that a lot of people do. And I heard a lot of horror stories and dudes have expressed to me that they feel like they made a mistake. <laughs> Let's say that. So going shopping, if a girl 
ask you to go shopping for some reason like and y'all really just getting to know each other really that's kind of weird and girls will do that out here in Colombia. they'll do it in the states too but they'll be like yeah let's go shopping and it sounds innocent if you're an unsuspecting male but yeah they'll they'll try to hit you over the head if you know what i'm saying and, and bust your bank account down you feel me so um i don't recommend going with a girl shopping out here in Colombia unless that's like something you want to do like oh you know i want to uh, treat you or something, you know, buy you something. That's one thing, but her kind of pushing it on you is kind of a bad sign, especially if she's like, let's go get it. I need a new iPhone or something like that. You know, be wary of the girls that want to go shopping. All right. The next item that you probably shouldn't do is book a full on vacation with a girl that you're really not established with. I've heard a few horror stories of guys that, you know, they maybe went on a few dates with a girl, but you know, they just getting started dating and they go on a trip and the trip ends up being horrible because you're really locked in with that person for two, three, four plus days, you know? So you better know how y'all kind of can cohabitate on a certain level before you get into a big trip like that. So that's just my advice there. Uh, happened to my buddy not too long ago. He had to cancel his trip and come back. And you know, him and the girl just weren't vibing. And so you want to be careful when it comes to booking those trips a lot of dudes you know talking to girls in medellin and they're like yo let's go to san andres or let's go to cartagena that's cool but just make sure that you and that girl are gonna get along because you know let her be on her period or something then what you know what i mean just make sure that you really fuck with her rock with her and everything so that's my advice there um i hope you all enjoyed this video i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here it's your boy kari hq y'all subscribe to the channel show your boy some love and like my shit for show you know what i mean drop me a comment let me know what y'all think what are some of the ideas that y'all throw out there that y'all had success with great date ideas and what are some of the things that or uh activities that went wrong dating in colombia remember this is all in the interest of dating in colombia specific to Columbia women, man, because that's my specialty. So y'all hit me up if you need a consultation, kari.hq, and we out.